What does Chinese medicine do to help reverse blood stasis? How do we take somebody with blood stasis and then bring them back to normal, optimal, healthy function again? Well, there's two main strategies in Chinese medicine. And the first one is called Chinese herbal medicine. Now, in Chinese herbal medicine, there's a class of medicines called blood movers. And as a group, they all move the blood. But there's different types of blood movers. For example, there's blood movers that push the blood. There's blood movers that thin the blood to help encourage circulation. There's also blood movers that are called vasodilators. So they expand the blood vessels so more blood can actually circulate through and move into those damaged areas. There's blood movers that are called cooling blood movers. So they actually cool inflammation or a more anti-inflammatory in nature where they help cool down the inflammation in the blood vessel but then circulate blood at the same time. And then there's warming blood movers. So if there's a artery or vessel that's constricted and very tight or contracted, like even we mentioned in broken heart syndrome, there's blood movers that actually warm up the blood vessels and expand blood vessels similar to the vasodilators, but they're more warming in nature. So they actually help open up and circulate blood through those damaged areas. So there's also blood movers that actually target different parts of the body. So there's a group of blood movers for the head and neck. There's blood movers for the uh, upper limb, the shoulders, the elbows, the hands. There's blood movers for the different organs, so the heart, liver, the kidneys. There's blood movers for the lower back, the hips, the knees, the ankles. There's literally blood movers for every different part of the body, all designed to help circulate blood, oxygen, and nutrient to any area of disease or dysfunction so the body can actually start to heal itself. So thanks for listening guys. If you have a question related to this video, please leave a question in the comment section below and I'll actually personally answer that question for you. If you really like this video, give it a big thumbs up and if you like the content of this video, please subscribe to my channel to receive more content just like this. Until next time, be grateful and take care.